Not welcome here and getting to another video and in this video, okay, before we hit to the video, I apologize for not making YouTube videos, but I have been enjoying going live on both of my channels, YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So I know I am not posting videos, but I am also going live on YouTube as well. So it's not similar to like the old, like, okay, this is your theme, use it, this is how to use it. So it was like more like, okay, this is my battles and this is how I struggle, especially in a, in a horrible uh, format, uh, such as Catch Cup. Catch Cup is probably the worst cup that you've ever made, but Niantic insist on keeping it because this cup forces people to use resources such as dust, building the new Pokemons. And if you look at my team, I have two Pokemons like that. I built this season uh, and the antics where they think that's like okay people build always a new stuff so they can use it but that doesn't work like that usually the antic buff pokemons that were like slightly good into like being very meta so there is no way they expect people to build the new stuff but at high MMR games people would literally build the new XL Basti and new XL whatever pokemon is because up there it's just uh, Everyone wants to climb, just as simple as that. And it's four times the dust, so technically you're getting your dust back. So the concept behind this team is I have a better Mandibuzz IB that I was able to find this season because Mandibuzz were spawning, sorry, Balbi was spawning. And they released Oinkalong, as you guys know. And uh, for Mandibuzz, we're running Snarl, Dark Pulse, Aerial Ace. Dark Pulse helps uh, in the Mantine matchup. What do you throw? I think two Dark Pulses and Aerial Ace, or like a Dark Pulse and double Aerial Ace. I'm not sure. I think it's double Dark uh, Pulse uh, and puts it close to uh, uh, farm down range. Oink along with any quick attack, body slam, trail blaze. This is female Oink along. It's better than the male Oink along, okay? But if you don't have the female one, you could use the male one. And uh, most importantly, the most insane Pokemon here, Lord Senior himself, okay? Krakaler. Krokaler's rocking, incinerated, crunch, disarming voice. There was two games yesterday where Krokaler was able to beat the three Pokemons all by himself. Yes. Uh, because they had a grass and a fairy and we found we were able to farm down something with like 30% HP. And Krokaler, you will see him going nuts on some teams. So without further ado, let's just go and watch these battles because there are some good battles and there are some horrible lags as well. Uh, Mandibuzz into Vigoroth. This is a neutral matchup. It used to be good for the Mandibuzz if Mandibuzz... Oh my, that lag, dude. Uh, it used to be good for Mandibuzz if Mandibuzz have Dark Pulse, but now Vigoroth has Rock Slide, which is super effective. As you can see, I don't have a, a good a good matchup into... Uh... So here I threw the Aerial Ace. I'm like, if he no shield, I'm just going to incinerate down because this is how Krokaler work. You just go Krokaler and incinerate down stuff. And I just hope that they don't have a Mantine because most of the time Mantine, if they have it, it's in the lead. And I'm going for the Crunch here. I think Disarming Voice is slightly better. I am not sure, but Crunch gives you a debuff, okay? So I'm hoping that they don't have close combat. And they do have close combat, of course, right? And uh, they bring in Gramble, so... I think this game is GG, unless the opponent lags. I mean, if you see it, my game in the beginning, like we were lagging a bit. So, usually when I lag, that means my opponent also is struggling with the same lag. And remember that they don't have, it's not a Shadow Gallet. So, all I need to do is just insta throw this and then go straight for the Aerial Ace. And I need to survive a close combat. So, we go for, oh my, they get to the close combat before me. Maybe that's good for us. And we live with 1 HP. My old Mandibuzz would not survive there, by the way. My old Mandibuzz is like a, I don't know, 7 something something. And yeah, that's why we needed the upgrade. This is why the upgrade is worth it. First, we're catching an alligator in the lead. I wish the alligator force faces the senior in the back because I want to prove it that senior is better than alligator. Uh, here we have Mandibuzz Mir. I think the way the opponent played is the best way to play that matchup, by the way. Do two incinerates and then swap out with lots of energy. And now I have no way to kill this uh, Mandibuzz. So I'm just going to... I think I lagged here. I remember this game where I lagged. I need to chip this and put them in like Snarl plus uh, play, uh, Disarming Voice range. And they are they still not in that range. So this is still the scuffed. I swapped. We get denied. I'm supposed to get an incinerate. Did like an entire incinerate. But it didn't work out. Uh, I think shielding isn't a bad idea, but I still refuse to shield because I'm hoping that they are running play, foul play, which they are. 
And there is some weird shenanigans going there, but I don't know what was that animation. I know that they got supposed to get to the move, but we get to throw the crunch here. They swapped out, so technically they get a one turn swap. Oh no, that was a that wasn't even a one turn swap. That was a a CMP tie. Uh, we're throwing again. I didn't see an incinerate, which means this is also a CMP tie. I'm going to swap out, do one, then throw. That wasn't a CMP tie. This game is so awkward. This game doesn't work, dude. I'm just going to throw an aerial ace. I don't want to take any energy because I just want to outnumber them. You know, if we kill this, it's going to be three against two. And that's uh, that's not a good matchup to be in, right? So I'm just going to over farm a bit. No, I don't want to over farm. I just want to kill it, to be honest. And that should take it out. And guess what they have in the back? It's sh Victory Bill Non-Shadow. If you are using Victory Bill, don't use the Non-Shadow, please. There was so many games I won because I ha they had the Non-Shadow. Because it just doesn't hit hard. And you will see it in some matchups, into the Oinkalong especially, that I won because the Leaf Player didn't do enough damage to take me out. Okay, moving into the next game. We have a horrible lead, so we're going to go to the Senior. No, we're going to the Oinkalong. Uh, this is not a bad matchup for Oinkalong. I mean, Oinkalong is a normal type, just like any other uh, or normal type. You win the zeros pretty much in all of the games. Oh my, I didn't want this game. This game is just torture, dude. Like, I'm gonna let them take me out so I can get as much incinerate as possible. I think I should have shielded here. I don't know why I didn't. So we're gonna farm all the way down. Now play that they don't have a mud boy. They do have a mud boy, so this game is pretty much GG. So there is no point of playing it out like that. That was just a tough alignment. There is no way to play it. And this is the thing about catch cup. You can't have a team that has coverage against everything, but we can have a team that does well into some of the matchups. Yeah. Okay. Now moving into the next game. Our opponent is rocking uh, Hisuian Arcanine. Believe it or not, Hisuian Arcanine destroys my team. Everything here takes either super effective from Rock Slide or resist normal uh, attacks from uh, the normal damage from uh, Oinkalong. So I need, I need to combo play this. So I have no idea what to do because this thing is in the lead. So I'm just going to go straight aerial ace at this point because they are like. Uh, Low, low, low on health, right? Uh, second idea is I think I'm supposed to take them out. I think we just go uh, oink along, and quick attack is resisted. But I need to do something, right? I can't just let his. Uh, can I sweep my entire team? They have a Pharaoh. Pharaoh has decent uh, move set. I think they have wing attack, steel wing, drill pick, and drill run. So Pharaoh is one of the like when it comes to move set. An opponent decided to run the only wrong one, which is idea is. Uh, we get a lag there. Luckily, the lag did not affect the outcome of the game, so that's what's suppo what that's what is supposed to happen. And opponent is having a charger bus, and Senor here is about to sweep. Okay, uh, we're just going to do one straight then then throw, I guess. No, I tried to catch. Opponent was trying to catch. I was prepared for this catch to be honest. I'm like, his only play is landing, landing the thing. Landing the rock slide on my senior, but I'm like, no, 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 I'm not gonna let that happen. The senior is about to sweep. But then, like, oh, they swapped, I swapped, and then we still win the game. So, yeah, regardless of the tough lead, core breaker, and with that, Salazil. Salazil is actually tough for this team, but that doesn't mean anything, to be honest, because Salazil doesn't have stat product, okay? Which means we can. Oh my, dude, what, what in the lag is that? Uh. We're just gonna. I'm, I decide to go aerial ace. I'm like those people. People with Salazar just shield everything, and my opponent just simply didn't shield. So now I'm in a horrible situation. I need to throw an aerial ace then swap out because I cannot afford getting farmed down. Because Salazar is just. I did one incinerate for was simply one reason because I need the snarl in case uh, I was able to swap out. Opponent brought in an altar here, and you look at this matchup. This is actually not bad. I'm, I'm debuffed, and. Uh, not just debuffed and oh my we lagged luckily the lag did not affect the game okay let's just say that and i was able to chip the altaria that by that much senor is about to incinerate them down and we're gonna shield here because we don't have another option hopefully i ko with the next snarl and now guess what's gonna happen they bring in the salazel and I decide to go for the full farm down. They have the charger bus and Senor is looking at that. With that meal look, he's like, let me cook. Uh, 
Ooh, okay. I was like, maybe if they get to two, they win. But I'm like, no, let me just over farm and make sure that they won't. They aren't able to do that. I think they are close to two, but uh, that. But you know what? Who has? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, brain lag. Uh, they are close to two, but I already have two moves and they win CMP and we take that game again. Senor is just impressive, okay? And uh, now moving to the next game, Mantine into Mandibles. Most of the people are running Water Pulse, which is actually the correct move in the current meta. Opponent decide to bait there for no reason. And if they throw Aerial Ace, uh, if they go straight Aerial Ace, Mandibles actually wins because Mandy here is the better flyer, okay? Just as simple as that. Opponent swaps in Reggie. And I'm like, do I need to fight for a swap here? I'm like, I don't want to fight for the swap. I don't care about winning this swap. All I care about is chipping the Reggie as, most, as much as possible. Senor here, sorry. I'm not going to give you any shield. All I want you to do is just take down this giant robot. And then the team will take care of the rest from this. So I apologize, my senor. You're not gonna, we're not going to shield you here. But we're going to snarl down. And we see a fire Pokemon. I don't know what that fire Pokemon is, but I'm just going to throw. They have their own Senor as well. Let's go. Uh, we're going to say Dark Pulse. I think they get denied, which is actually bad for them. But we take that, okay? Yo, we, we have been lagging the entire video. So, good to see that the opponent is lagging too. Look at that. Speaking of the lag. So, by the way, I have it on, uh, on 2x speed. So, technically, you don't see the lag. So, okay. This is what's happening, okay? Look at this. And look at the game. Like, throws for two seconds. Like, for no obvious reason. Why would the game froze for no, two seconds for no reason? Uh, we asked Niantic, but Niantic just doesn't answer our DMs, you know? It's like, can you just fix the game? It's like, okay, we are working on that. They've been saying that since, like, 2020. Been 40 years, right? It's like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Look at the lag here. Let me, let me show you. Look at the lag here. See? I'm not even pausing. So that, that was literally the game. See? This is my hand. See? The game paused for literally like a second and a half there for no reason as well. Yeah, this game is just impressive. It's impressive how they just deny everything and pretend the game is working. Look at that. Again, again more lags. They just pretend the game is working perfectly. And, you know, you pretend enough, people will believe it. The problem is that we don't believe it. We just get used to it. I don't think we're getting, we're getting used to it. It's more like, it's whatever. We play this game. So what, what what's going to happen, right? Uh, there was a lag there also. But again, Senior doesn't feel the lag. Oh, oh, oh my, they have Tenta Crawl, dude. Among all the stuff that they could use, they have Tenta. Well, luckily it's Shadow, which means two of these crunches is supposed to put them like at very, very low health. Which means this should grab a shield, as you can see. So what's the play now? We're just going to go Mandy, do one, then throw. I'm not going to shield the first. Oh my, okay, now that we're, now we're gonna shield an acid spray, that's how it works, if you don't shield the skull, the second one will be acid spray. We don't mind that, it's fine, I mean, what could it, like, we cannot afford taking more damage, Aerialis is supposed to take out, and now they have their own mandibles. This this game specifically has been so laggy, like this game. Uh, so, expect the opponent to lag at one point. Uh, we're throwing good timing, and this is, the, you, you will see here why I said uh, non-shadow. Yeah, now the opponent is lagging, which is good for me. Okay, it's good to see that happening, okay? Because uh, we almost lost, like, all of the previous games, but we were able to, uh, out, like, to overcome the, the lags. Now what we do is, we're just going to, I don't, I don't, I don't care to shield this. I'm just going to swap out to do one then throw. It's a CMP, we don't care to shield. But now it's just a race to whoever gets more charge. Oh my, dude, look at the lag. I'm not going to even hit excellent because of the lag. I literally had frame drops on the charge moves, which prevented me from getting excellent there. Opponent gave up there. Technically, they just don't win because I have more health and I have more energy. I mean, either of us died to the next move, but I have more energy. Let's just say that. And I still have a Pokemon in the back. So even if it goes to timeout, I still win. And uh, moving into, I think this is the last game. No, this is, there is one more. Mantine in the lead. If they go straight Ice Beam, it's actually still not bad. Like, you put them at very low health. So, but I'm expecting people to run. Oh my. We, ha we had the lag, so the charge move didn't register. So I went to, th to two more, like one plus two, which is I did three more. Just to make sure we throw in good timing. 
uh they heal water pulse uh, again water pulse is actually the correct move on mantine uh, it helps in matchups such as scarm and better against whiskash i think this is an aerial ace which we do live uh i'm gonna end the charge here i think but it ended up being enough so i saw an eye and i insta swapped because i can't afford to get to give an eye energy because i don't have an eye answer right so our answer here is just getting crunch debuffs i think i get the crunch debuff the crunch debuff i need two actually so crunch debuff number one let's go now we need another one uh, I throw it on bad timing here because I think they are. If, if I don't get timing, they will get another move. We get another one. Let's go. I think I can quick attack down at this point. Dude, this game is so laggy. I need to quick attack this down. We did. What could they have in the back? Yo, it's Shadowvik. Non Shadowvik. This is why non Shadowvik is actually bad. Look at this. So Shadowvik will literally demolish me here, by the way. I tried to catch. Catch it didn't work out. And now I need to live this. Which I think I do. Yeah. Uh, the shadow would have KO there. But since it's non-shadow, it doesn't KO. But technically, there is no way you could have the shadow, right? Because he, there wasn't a frustration event after that thing. Now, we're playing against the Sarna. Uh, I haven't built that Pokemon. And I wasn't playing... I didn't play the community today. I, was, I just went outside with my friends. We had some nice barbecue outside the city. Maybe I should share some pictures in this video. Uh, maybe at the end of the video there will be some so uh, what do we do here well it's, an, it's a good matchup I think I could just go to oink along at this point but I'm like let's just play it out and try to get a shield advantage or so because Mandibus beat Gligar very comfortably uh, I don't need to shield this and I think I think they have the move because they technically shielded once right this is where like non shadow like gets suck it's like it's, it's bad against man man the oh my they bring in the tesarna with the going to throw aerial aces and lord senor is about to cook just watch him out lord senor go and send it oh my uh this is where they use high jump kick and they swapped out they brought in the wheel dude this game is so laggy again well what's with these lags uh lord senor <laughs> throwing the disarming voice on the first pokemon and that did like around let's say 40 percent but senor is about to find them all the way down second pokemon comes in hit senor doesn't fear anything take down two pokemons still have a shield and two like a half of the hp so that was it thank you so much everyone for watching this is the end of the video if you guys like these videos please leave a like if you're not to the channel make sure to subscribe and see you in the next video peace